welcome to The Story Box by Creative Spaces. My name's Jess from the Bookworm Players and I'm going to be reading our story today. So let's have a look in our story bag. We are reading Look Up by Nathan Bryan, illustrated by Dapo Adiola. Every night before bed, I set up my telescope and look at the stars. Can you make your own telescope like this? Keep your eye open, close the other eye if you can, and make a long telescope, that's it. Pretend to look up at the stars. I love looking at the stars, they're so pretty. And look, this little girl here, I recognise because I read some of her other stories. Her name is Rocket, and this is her cat, and she's dressed him as an astronaut. Mum tells me that I never stop looking up and that my head is always floating in the clouds. But she can't tell me that I look up more than my big brother Jamal looks down at his silly phone. Look, there's Jamal, sat at the table, looking at his phone when he should be eating his breakfast there. Jamal says I'm called Rocket because I've got fiery breath. Do you think that's true? But mum says it's because a famous rocket blasted off into space the day that I was born. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> All I know is that one day I'm going to be the greatest astronaut, star catcher, space traveller who has ever lived. Like Mae Jemison, the first African-American woman in space. There she is, look, there's Mae. Did you know that Mae Jemison went into orbit around the Earth in the space shuttle Endeavour, even though she's scared of heights? Wow, that's an accomplishment, isn't it? To go up into space, even though you're scared of heights. She's incredibly brave. I'm totally prepared. I've defied gravity. Look, there she is, defying gravity on the swing. Captured rare and exotic life forms. She's caught a butterfly with a net and built a ship to the stars. Oh, she's made her very own rocket there. For today's mission, I'm going to see something incredible. The Phoenix Meteor Shower. Oh, and she's made a poster saying, come and see the Phoenix Meteor Shower with me tonight. Meet at my house at 7 p.m. And everyone's got smiley faces because they're excited to see it. I want everyone to see it with me, so I've made some flyers to hand out. All of her toys are coming. Look, teddy, dinosaur, unicorn, frog, octopus, and a little astronaut. Jamal is going to take me to the park to see the meteor shower. But first we have to go to the supermarket. While he's looking for the milk, I'll be trying to find some astronaut food. What do astronauts eat? I think a lot of freeze-dried food. And when I've seen them drinking, if you see droplets of water in space, they come out like tiny little droplets and they go. Did you know that meteor showers happen when Earth moves around the trail of dust left by a comet? Wow. Rocket knows loads about space, doesn't she? Did you know that most meteors are smaller than a grain of sand? I actually didn't know that, but now I do. Did you know meteors are bits of dust burning up in the atmosphere? Ooh. Did you know the best time to see a meteor shower is when it's dark with no clouds? Ooh, well, I hope it's dark for Rocket tonight so she could see them. In the supermarket, when Kathy the cashier isn't looking, I grab the microphone. What do you think Rocket's going to do? Do you think she's going to go five, four, three, two, one, blast off? No, she wouldn't do that. I think she just wants to tell everyone about the meteor shower. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Tonight, come out and witness the amazing Phoenix meteor shower. Everyone looks Kathy takes her microphone back as I hand out my flyers to the other people in the queue. I think Jamal might be a tiny bit cross with me. He does look quite a bit cross, doesn't he, Jamal? In fact, 
He's not looking at his phone, he's looking straight at Rocket, so I think he must be mad. The Phoenix Meteor Shower will come soon, so we better drop off the shopping and get back to the park fast. Whoops! What's happened? Oh, a car's driven by into a puddle and it's splashed all over Jamal. Now he's gonna be even more moody. <laughs> well, that wouldn't have happened if you looked up. Now Jamal is even more cross with me and he says he won't take me to the park anymore. Oh dear. It's not very nice though when you get soaked when a car goes past through a puddle. But when we get home, mum saves the day. Phew, come on Jamal, she says. Put down the phone and take your little sister to the park. Is he gonna do it? I think he has to because his mum's told him to. So what does Rocket do? She goes, yes, 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 yes. And I jump up and I do my famous victory dance around the house, which looks like a little bit of a robot dance and then a bit of shake your hands up and down and boogie from side to side. That's a very good victory dance. Can you all do a victory dance? Go on, on the count of three. One, two, three. Yes, yes, yes. Whoa, this is my victory dance. <laughs> Jamal doesn't find it funny. I grab my jetpack rucksack, but Jamal is still glued to his game. Wait till I've completed the level, Rocket, he grumbles. As we're about to leave, the doorbell goes. Wowzers! Everyone's here and they're all holding my flyers. To the park! I yell at the top of my lungs and we're all so excited. My neck is aching from staring up in the night sky, but I won't stop. I can't miss it. Suddenly, the park goes silent. Even the birds are holding their breath. <gasps> Everyone points their telescopes and binoculars up to the sky. Ready, get your binoculars ready. I think I see one. But it's just a plane flying overhead. Everybody moans and groans. We wait and wait. It must be nearly time for the park to close. One by one, people start to go home. Oh, maybe the Phoenix meteor shower was just a myth. That means maybe it's not true. Maybe that's why Jamal didn't want to come along. Maybe everyone's upset with me. He looks really disappointed. I've never ever felt this sad before. Jamal looks at me for the first time today and it feels like the first time ever. I've turned my phone off, sis, he says. I think that's him showing that he cares, isn't it? I'm sorry for making you wait in the freezing cold for nothing, Jamal. Let's just go home. But suddenly, there's a big, bright light in the sky. Look at Rocket's face. My mouth has dropped open like this. Look up. Whoa. The Phoenix Meteor Shower. I'm speechless, Jamal says. He pulls out his flask and gives me a warm cup of hot chocolate. Mmm, yummy. We both sit down on the hill, watching meteors zoom across the sky. I'm so happy that we looked up and saw them together. Did you know that one day I'm gonna have a meteor shower named after me? Well, do you know what? I can believe that rocket. Oh, thank you all so much for watching. And maybe tonight, if it starts to get dark and you're still up and awake, you could have a look and see if you can find any stars. Now, you can do something creative, like paint a picture, write a story, play, sing a song, something that makes you happy. And we'll see you all next time. Thank you, bye.